Welcome back for the third installment of our TNT series with myself, Tyler Patner, and Travis Patton over at Airgun Depot. Today we're going to be talking about some of the best innovations in air guns in the last three to five years. We're also going to touch on the Bigfoot of the air gun world, the Umar X Hammer. Okay, so a couple of things come to mind. You know, for me, probably the innovations in compressors. Yeah, big one. Is a, is a big one. Absolutely. Um, you know, the fact that you can now get, I mean, really affordable compressors. Mm -hmm. You can get compressors that don't weigh 120 pounds. Yeah. Although those are still really good ones, especially if you Absolutely. need workers' comp. If, if, you, if you're going to spend three grand, I mean, you, you could do a lot worse than a nice compressor for sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just the fact that you can buy one for anywhere near a thousand bucks right you know in that 13 13 fourteen hundred dollar price point is really incredible and the fact that we're now seeing a bunch of manufacturers jump into that is also really good i think it's going to be a good thing for the industry the personal portable compressor thing i'm i like the nomad i'm not a hundred percent on board with the whole portability thing i still have a tank i'd rather but, have a tank i mean if you if you do, like lift some weights it's only about 18 pounds and I don't think you'll have any problem with is it. That, you're right. You're so right. Don't, don't let that put you off. It really do, is, port for do, most people, it's portable. Somebody told me to eat my Wheaties. Is that a thing? Does that help? I've heard that, yeah. Okay, all right, I'll give that a try too. I'm um, lactose intolerant though, so I can't drink oh, real really? milk. Oh, that's Bone strength, just paper yeah. thin. Terrible. Yeah. You know, another thing that mm. jumps to mind too is, is, is the hammerless valve. Okay. Um, I know exactly how they work. Right. But I, it's kind of complicated to go into right now. Absolutely. Too much detail for, for your huge brain to divulge yeah, so. on camera right now. And, and the other thing I, I think is, is the smooth twist X barrels. Just the fact that you can adapt those liners so quickly and so Okay, so, so, like, much. It, so, so the X system of, of changing the liners around, sure. Yeah, I'd, I'd Those would be my top three picks. Interesting. I'd agree with that. I, I think one of the things that, that's really been impressive over the last couple of years um, regulators have come quite a ways in terms of the affordability of putting them into guns. Used to be, you know, you couldn't get a regulated gun for under a thousand bucks. Now you got three hundred dollar regulated guns, and yeah. you know, it's not like the technology has changed that much. It's just, you know, manufacturers are getting more creative, which I think is a really good thing. Um, sound suppression technology has come quite a ways in the last couple of years as well. Uh, target systems have come quite a ways. You know, we've seen a lot of interesting targets come out recently. And also, like Shot Show, you were there as well with the, the, the bada Airbender Bada Bang. I think that's going to be a really cool target. Um, and just the, the having a game around a target and the potential to play with your friends across the country, across the world, I think that's really huge. Are there other targets you have in mind? Uh, well, actually, I mean, if you look at most of what Air Venturi has come out with actually in the last like four or five years, you got a lot of really neat targets. I mean, like an affordable field target, which for me was great because it actually works well. Uh, it's not very complicated. There aren't a whole lot of moving parts that can screw up on you during a match, so they work really well. Um, you have fun targets like the Medusa, you know, that, that you can actually shoot without having to pull something or walk down range. You can set. shoot them. I, well, you I, suck. That's I, fine. I, I um, can't really you know, shoot you, One day you'll learn how to shoot offhand. Um, but one day when that, you haven't poisoned me. Well, right, but that day won't be today, and no, you don't have to worry about it. It's definitely not today. Um, also, uh, another thing, size. I think one of the biggest things for me is just the size of some of the guns now and the power they're putting out. You have guns like the BP-17, um, like some of the, the FX stuff, you know, that's going to be coming out here, like with the Crown Continuum. You have guns that are just super small, super small barrels, but still putting out solid power, really good accuracy, and with all the crazy features you could possibly right. want, you know, I, I think... Um, that, that's been a big one. Yeah. I, I think the compressor one's probably the most important for the viewer though. I think that's really, if there's one thing you take away from this video, it's, it's that compressors are now affordable. That's a great question. And, and it's good that we've actually got a date now that we've got information. Right. Anyway. I just got off the phone with the Umarex rep, um, and Guys, we got some good news for you. There you have it. I mean, get your orders in now. Right. I mean, I hope you guys are excited as we are. Super pumped. 
Sorry for cutting that a little short on you guys. Obviously, at the time this was filmed back in June of last year, Travis and I had no idea when the hammer was actually going to be available. But I have good news for all of you. Bigfoot does exist. The hammers are shipping now. Uh, we are shipping them out to you guys that had pre-orders as fast as we get them in the door from Umarex. It's going to take a little time to cover all of the back orders, but the first orders are shipping out now. So we are very pleased to say the hammer is a very real thing. And if you want one, you're going to be able to get your hands on one. One very soon. Thanks for joining us on today's TNT video. We appreciate the viewership as always. If you're interested in more TNT content, head on over to Airgun Depot. They're going to be releasing another episode next Saturday. Every other Saturday, we're going to be releasing one. So check them out over there. Make sure you're subscribed to both channels so you don't miss any of the content. And as always, don't forget to like the video. Let us know how you felt about it down in the comments as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.